Hey folks, this is Bardic Dragoon. Welcome back to Dragon Quest 3. When we last left off, uh, we had traveled to the town of Portega, as well as uh, finding a few items, or picking up a few items using our new magic key, eventually finding our way to Portega, where we learned that the king, if we could give him some pepper, would be willing to give us a bit of... Pardon me, would be willing to uh, give us a boat. Which, well, yeah, being able to travel the world freely via boat seems like it'd be pretty useful, so we'll probably go with that. But, uh, as far as requiring, pe or requiring pepper, we had to travel all the way to the town of Baharata, only to find that the man who would sell it to us is having a bit of a crisis right now. That crisis? His daughter's been kidnapped. And well, we've learned that there's a, uh, Cave full of bandits just over to the east. Handsome bandits, no less. My favorite kind. I feel like that's something I should have an opinion on. Anyway. And yeah. It's one of those dungeons. It can, it's actually not that difficult of a dungeon if you know where you're going. Which I do, because I have maps. Yay for maps. 352 gold coins. Ah, fuck. <laughs> All right. Can of box, round two, let's go. Ha! <laughs> By the way, can of boxes are just a thing now that can pop up in the game, so, you know, be wary of that. Though, well, we can actually put up a fight against them now, so it's not too bad. And there's another mini metal. Two more, we can get that edge boomerang. And now with the new whip that we've got. Ah, oh, shades. Okay. New whip that we've got from Natasha. It's questionable whether or not that's really going to be useful to get, but we'll see when we get to it, hopefully, sooner rather than later. Ah, a lump mage and catula. That that is a name. <laughs> anyway, the lump mage, level 16 enemy, 42 HP, 10 MP, has 60 attack power, 46 defense, 25 agility. Gives 128 experience points, 55 gold, and can cast dazzle and fuddle. As for the catula. He gives, or he is a level 16 enemy, 35 HP, 0 MP, 65 attack, 50 defense, 20 agility, gives 135 experience, and 35 gold. He can call for help, run away, and perform, do a weird dance to drain your MP. He also has a 100, or 1 in, 20, 1 in 256 chance of dropping a cat suit. Honestly, neither one of these are too terrible, or too troublesome, so... Yeah. Natasha just one-shotted that, fly, that uh, flying vampire cat, that's interesting. Then again, Natasha is our strongest character, so that makes it make sense. And look there! John just leveled up. Now uh, HP and MP both up by 7. Uh, let's see, plus 3 to strength, plus 3 to agility, plus 3 to resilience, plus 3 to wisdom, plus... Just plus 3 all around. Ah, and he learned mid-heal! Good! Mid-heal, as uh, you might have, or as the name kind of gives away, is a stronger version of heal. That's it, actually, with our stats. Yeah, it's... Heal is still a good option at this stage of the game. But if you, like, actually get into critical health, mid-heal is going to be a lot more, because, as you can see, 75 points compared to 30. Given that only one of our characters is even above that 75-point mark, everybody else is, like, you know, 30 points is about half their health. And even with that one character, 30 is still about half their health. But yes, mid heal can act as a pretty solid. Oh, well, the other one with a can of box. Oh well. Ah fuck. Ah fuck. Oh, this ain't going well. Could 
Crystal really is this, is this the time to be adjusting your hair? Two of your friends are dead by kind of this thing. <laughs> Crystal is just not paying attention to the world around her. I don't know. Crystal! Come on! And this is why gadabouts can be problematic. <sighs> okay. Run away! Of course not. Fuck. No. Yes, we'll continue on our journey. Ugh, lost that of gold. Ugh. Okay! Ah, I can't believe that happened. I'll see you guys back in the cave. I need to revive people, do stuff like that. It'll be a few minutes. Okay. I was planning to cut you guys in a bit later, but I guess uh, since Natasha leveled up, we'll bring you in now. Uh, with uh, 3 HP up, 5 MP increase. And let's see, plus 2 to strength and agility, or sorry, plus 3 to strength and agility, plus 2 to resilience, wisdom, and luck. Mm, good stuff. Oh, also Crystal got level 15 as well. That's nifty. Plus 2 to HP and MP. And let's see, plus 1 to strength, agility, resilience, and wisdom, and plus 10 to luck. Eh, nifty. Oh. Okay, I was gonna like say I didn't learn and try fighting that thing again, but I guess not. And wow, yeah, maybe that hundred thousand we lost wasn't too bad. After reviving everybody and all of that, uh, it ended up like we were down to three hundred. We're already backed up to a thousand. I hadn't fought that many enemies yet. Then again, one of them was a uh, jewel bag, or not jewel bag, grinning bag, whatever the heck they're called. Uh, anyway, well, this one I know is not a thirty-two gold coins. Very nice. Through here. And fight some more enemies. Because as I said, with this dungeon, it's kind of a confusing uh, maze. And the fact that just a bunch of those small square rooms and they're all interconnected together. So if you don't know where you're going, it can very quickly... You know, just get very confusing. But it's actually pretty straightforward. Go north from the starting one. That'll take you to those treasure rooms. Hello. How long must it be now since I first got lost here in this cave? I saw a man heading into the, into the darkness, so I followed, and then I heard the sound of a key turning in a lock. Looks like I could help you, dude. And then if you just keep going south from there... That'll take us to the bottom areas, where over here is a treasure chest. The enemy are defeated. Seed of Resilience, very nice. Actually, who needs a resilience boost? Uh, let's see, 41, 36, 33, 33. Um, given her stat growth, I think we'll give it to John. Crystal has some solid resilience stat growth. But anyway, that's all the treasure chests. If you then go this direction, that'll take us to the stairs down. To the less obnoxious and windy version of this dungeon, or area of this dungeon. Actually, uh, Seed of Agility, Seed of Wisdom, Seed of Strength, Seed of Life. Strength, 
we'll give to Crystal. Resilience we'll give to Crystal. Agility, not resilience. Uh, that's a 33. And we'll give it to Layra. Let's see. Actually, max HP is uh, 80, 61, 66, 65. Give it to Crystal. By the way, if you cast a spell like heal on a character that didn't need to be healed, it doesn't cost MP. So that's nifty. If you're in the middle of a battle, it, you still waste your turn. But, you know, that's a battle. Hey, sweet, the bunny girl's got 69 hit points. Heck yeah. Anyway, open this door. Who the heck are you? Oh, here to join the gang, are ya? Uh... Yes, yes we are. Will you let us through without fight if we say that? The boss ain't here, so clear off. Oh. Okay, then I guess we're not here to join the gang. Well, we can't have that now, can we? Come here, you! Some Robin Uddle. Hmm. Well, that naming convention is oddly familiar, isn't it? Sorry, Robin Uddle. These guys are level 63, have 120 hit points, 20 MP, have or 65 attack, 60 defense, 37 agility, give 100 experience, and no gold. They can cast Kasap, mid heal, and you don't want to bother with status ailments if they resist most of them. Uh, they have full resistance against, uh, well actually instant death, uh, fuddle. Dazzle they have and everything else that they have uh, solid resistance against. Thankfully, damaging spells, not so much. So, with that in mind... Oh no, I'm starting to... Oh, Ksab didn't do anything. And Crystal just closing, just shutting her eyes and pretending the world doesn't exist. That's great. Alright. So with that, they should hopefully be in a point where we can just start dealing some damage and not worry about dipping into the MP too much. Oh, now that Ksab worked, that's great. Just all just fixing her hair. You know what, actually, yeah. I did think that of order turn wise, I guess. Cool. Okay, so I guess 100 experiences for all of... Actually, no, wait, no. Four of them at 100 experience divided amongst four of us. It's 100 experience each. All right. Nothing there. Oh, okay, just saying a sword hangs decoratively from the wall. I never realized you could search those, not that you really can search them. There's nothing in there. Alright. Oh. Oh, I think we found... Please, there's a lever on the wall over there that will be opening this door. Pull it, quickly! Help! Somebody help me! It is I, Tanea, who was most terrifyingly kidnapped from the town of Baharata. Okay, where's the... 
He said over on the wall, where? Oh wait, probably this. Oh, Tanea, my most beautiful, beautiful darling. Isn't that sweet? No, I was say pull the lever again to make sure, I mean, the fact there won't be prisoners in there, but hey, maybe it'll be a bit longer before whoever's in charge realizes these people escape. Oh, oh, Gopal. The, my most dearly beloved, beloved, now we may return home together at last. Indeed we may, my love. Come, let us leave right now, this instant. Thank you, brave hero. Alright, so let's get the heck out of here. Up. Oh. Eek! <laughs> you don't, you didn't think I'd let you get away that easily, did ya? Oh. Actually, I'm curious what they have to say. Hey, this is awful, awful. I care nothing for myself, but please, you must be saving my beloved Tanea. Brave hero, save us. Eh? I don't remember kidnapping no... Hang about. Not you, a bleeding gang. I can't get rid of you, can I? Well, you ain't gonna beat me twice. Well, that explains uh, why the name seemed familiar, doesn't it? Yes, it is the glorious return of Robin Hood. There we go. The upgraded version of him, which is level 63, 400 hit points, no MP, attack power of 89, or sorry, 700 HP, attack power of 95, defense of 70, agility of 23, and he gives 4,800 experience points. He can grant land critical hits, and he, uh, similar to his uh, little thugs there, there's not much uh, you can do as far as status ailments. Actually, he's even more resistant than they are. He even resists uh, some of the damaging spells. Not all of them, though, which can be yeah, arguably useful. Anyway, first thing, we'll... Actually, no. What we're going to do to start things off, we're going to get rid of his thugs. Or his uddle, I guess. I don't know, is that like a thing? Crystal's looking at herself in the mirror, of course. Okay. Mid heal on Layra to start with. So this is gonna be a bit of a marathon battle. Uh oh. And Natasha's gonna need to get healed next time. Crystal this turn. All right. Kill up Layra. There we go. Like, come on, get that healing in first. All right. Be good for John to actually get some damage as well this turn. And this boss is actually an old, er, well, the original version of the game. Uh, in the various revisions, he was changed with this, but in the original version, he actually regenerates health every turn. He has low, he has less health overall, only 400 as opposed to 700, but he recovers 50 HP every turn. 
so that's a little obnoxious. But thankfully, in the remakes, uh, we don't need any of the updated versions. We don't need to worry about that. Actually, uh, yeah, sack might actually be worth trying for. Actually, at this point, he's taking so much damage, it's not going to make much difference. So, actually, yeah. Uh, okay, should be good here for another turn. Offense focus. We gotta have done like five to six hundred points of damage by now. We could be dead soon. Okay, John is not doing too good. Since he's the healer, we want to keep him alive, particularly. <laughs> the goofball took you out to finish the battle. Twelve hundred and fifty experience points each. Very nice. And Labor actually got to level up. 9 HP, 9 MP, plus 3 to Resilience, plus 3 to Strength, plus 5 to Luck, plus 1 to Agility and Wisdom. Pretty solid level up. I've beaten a bleeding gain. You're me bleed nemesis, you are. Please, I'm begging you, spare me. I'll turn me life around. I'll go straight, I promise. Just let me go, please. I really don't trust you. We keep running into you now. B -b -b you have to let me go. You have to. Please, I'm begging you. No. But I must. Fine, we'll let you go. Cheers, ears. Be lucky, eh? ta -ta. Oh, thank you. Thank you once again so very, very much. I'm indebted to you for as long as I shall live. Longer, even. Come, Tanaya. Finally, it is time to return home, my beloved, beloved. Yes, my dearest darling. You must come back to Baharata and see us sometime, yes? Goodbye, Savior. Alright. So let's get the heck out of here. I really cannot wait till we learn the evac spell. I mean, the dungeons are starting to get longer, so, you know. Okay. And getting out of here... Okay, so let's see, so we have one, two, three, and right, there we go, alright, that wasn't so bad, alright, before we go back, there is one spot, I thought we couldn't get to this, but apparently we can, Ant Gunsler, obviously, uh, upgraded version of the Anteater, obviously, uh, but as for the specifics, Ant Guzzler, level 15 enemy, has 50 HP, 0 MP, 75 attack, 45 defense, 10 agility, gives 110 experience points, 25 gold, and has a 1 in or 256 chance of dropping an iron spear. I'm not really too worried about these guys. Okay, I don't know why John attacked that one particularly, or Labor attacked that one. Come on, Crystal! Yeah! Oh, anyway, yeah. Uh, Labor and Crystal probably could go with some healing. There we go. Oh, Ram Raider. Okay. Can we just walk into a new... Uh... Yeah, we are in a new uh, area of the uh, counter table. Cool. Hopefully this is not something I'm going to regret. Uh, as for, there we go, Ram Raider. Level 17 enemy, 60 HP, 12 MP, 65 attack, 49 defense, 28 agility, gives 162 experience, 45 gold, and can cast Sids. They also have 128 chance of dropping a leather shield. You know what? 
I am gonna play this on play it safe with this one. And Crystal just standing there not doing anything, that's great. Nice to know she's really contributing to the team here. These things aren't too deadly. I might have overreacted going all in on just hit everything for damage, but not a bad thing on Dirty to do. We offer you a most humble welcome to All Trades Abbey. Oh, and this you can actually save your game here, I forgot about that. Now, we shall continue our journey though, but yes, All Trades Abbey. This is the spot where you can actually change your cl or you can change your class. There's not a lot going on here besides that, which we can't actually do that right now. But let's take a moment to talk to people. I'm thinking of becoming a martial artist. Yeah, yeah, I might want to lose some weight there, buddy. I'm going to become a merchant and make an absolute mint. I'm going to become a beautiful, fresh-faced young damsel. <laughs> I don't think that's how that works, buddy. I'm going to become a mage. And... If you choose a new vocation, you'll lose all the experience you've gained in your old one. But all the effort you've made won't have been for nothing. You'll see some benefits in your new job. That being said, a priest who becomes a warrior then decides to go back to being a priest will have to start again from level 1. So you don't want to go changing vocations too often. But if you do, you'll find that you level up quite quickly, so it shouldn't be much of a, or it shouldn't be much of a problem. And yeah, when you change classes, the way it works is you go back to level 1 like you said, but you keep 25% of your stats, I believe... Uh, give me one moment. Uh, I should probably need your way of doing this. The mage becomes well. I'll pull. I'll go over the details here in a moment. But yeah, if a mage becomes a warrior, they'll be a warrior who can use magic. Good, eh? But they'll also be back at level 1, so don't change your whole party's vocation at once or you'll be in trouble. You're probably best off changing one or two people's vocations at a time. For your first time, I'd recommend something like a priest to martial artist or a warrior to a priest. That'll give you two characters with healing spells and your martial artist will be able to cast them nice and quick. Not bad advice on that. And... A few other people we can talk to before we talk to the main man there who can change our job. Actually, I think I know what this is. I am, a hum I am the humble servant of Apello, he who presides over the naming of things. No, not for the moment. We'll save that for a more relevant time. Ostensibly, arguably relevant time. But in addition to the actual abbey itself here, or temple, uh, then the older version, in the older translation one that I'm used to, this place is known as Dharama, uh, Dharama Temp. Da, or, well, actually, it's also in the uh, Japanese version, uh, also referred to as the same thing, Dama Temple, which is a, if I'm not mistaken, Hindu term? Uh, I believe Hindu. Uh, term, basically, like the, basically, kind of the path of the way or something like that. I looked it up once what that actually meant, especially after the change in the name. Like, but why Dhamma? Like, it makes a lot of sense. Actually, it probably would be Buddhist. That makes more sense for this region, but also coming something coming out of Japan. I don't know. Anyway, there's an island off the coast to the southeast of here named Japan. They call it the Golden Country. It sounds amazing. Wouldn't it be great to sail there and see what it's like? Indeed it would. Anyway, let's, uh, hit the end because John's actually running low on MP. And then we'll go ahead and talk to the actual priest in charge. But the basic idea with changing classes is, uh, when you change character class, as those guys mentioned, you start back at level 1 with your new class. 
but you carry over a certain percentage of your existing stats and any spells or abilities you learned. Welcome to All Trades Abbey, where those in search of a new path in life inevitably find there that which they seek. Do you or any of your acquaintances wish, wish for a new vacation? Actually, I'm curious what happens if we say yes right now. And who is it who wishes to undergo the ritual of change? Crystal. But you have barely taken even the first steps on the path of the gadabout, Crystal. What manner of frivolous flibbertigibbet flib flibber flibber gives up before they even have begun, or they've even begun, hmm? Yeah, so you actually need to ha be level 20 in your current class in order to change character class. The hero cannot change character class. I think you actually get a special message if you try, regardless of what their level is, so... Yes. Layro wishes to change. Imbecile, you wish to give up on the role of a hero? And just who will save us in our... or save us in your place, hmm? Anyway, yeah. So this is All Trades Abbey. Fairly important or a fairly important spot in the game, but we can't really make much use of it for the moment. And there's actually a tower up to the north of it, but the reward that it gives us isn't worth anything to us right now. And it's questionable whether that the enemies there might be too strong for us. Anyway, as long as we rescue that guy's daughter, let's go see how the uh, where's the old man at? He's upstairs now. It was up. Thanks to you, I've been able to buy black pepper at last. You have my great thanks, Traveler G. Aye, right, brave, brave hero, it is you. Thank you so very, very much for coming to my aid. Thanks to you, I have returned to my home, and Gopal and I have inherited my dear Dad, Dada's shop. Hmm, very nice, Traveler G. Friend, I am having heart, having heard everything that occurred. You have my deepest, unreserved, and most undying gratitude. That I am able to rest at last is thanks to you and you alone. And let's go talk to your son-in-law running the counter there. Get some black pepper. Namaste, and welcome to the Emporium of Spices. Are, but it is you, Savior G. It is I, Gopal Gupta. I am, I am still most thoroughly in your debt for all that you have done. Are you here in search of black pepper, perhaps? Actually, yes, we are. Then allow me to give it to you entirely free of charge. It is the least I can be doing. And so we got a pinch of black pepper. Travel safely, Savior G. Ah, and if you are thinking to visit Altrade's Abbey, it lies beyond the mountains of the north. We already talked about that. Anyway, with that retrieved, let's go ahead and zoom ourselves back to Portoga. I keep wanting to say Portega, because it kind of rolls off the tongue a little bit better, and that was actually the name of the place in the uh, translation that I'm used to. And let's go talk to the king. So we got something for the man. Well, if it is not Lero whom I charge to travel to the east and return with precious pepper. So, I take it you failed in your mission? Caramba, it seems not. Ah, precious, piquant, pitch black pepper, the greatest treasure of the east. You have done well, Lero, very well indeed. I do not doubt that your journey was fraught with danger at every turn. Such bravery is of a kind possessed only by true heroes. Let it not be said that I am not a man of my word. The ship is yours. Go outside, it awaits you there. And with that, we now have a boat. Which means the world as a whole is opened up to us. Though there are a few quick and easy spots we can get to here. One of this shrine, there's not actually anything useful here if I remember correctly, but it's like right there, so why not? You done good coming up to this here lighthouse, then no mistake. Now you can hear everything yours truly got to tell you about the world he's seen in his years of seafaring. If you sail south along the coast from here, eventually you'll come to the Cape of Thedon. Head east of there and you'll make land at the town of Lansing, and from there you can see dear old Alahan. Port yourself north from Alahan you can, and you can't help but bump into Japan, otherwise known as the Golden Country. Oh. Of course, once you've laid your hands on all six orbs, you won't even need to boat no more. Anyway, head down south and see what you can see, why don't you? And don't go forgetting all the juicy info I just gave you, eh? 
And yeah, he gave us directions to very or to a particular spot on the world. There's actually a couple of spots that uh, we can get to here, different spots, as I said. But he mentioned something important: the six orbs. Yeah. <laughs> Oh shit, I thought I, might, I muted the mic. Sorry about that. Those six orbs are the main thing that we're... Or the kind of the main thing that you're going... We're questing for in this game. As that will allow us to actually make our way to Baramos. But, for the moment, we're not going to worry about that. We're going to travel a bit. Come up here to a northern spot and... Uh, Alright, so the Merman, level 20, 54 HP, 5 MP, has 65 attack, 45 defense, 30 agility, gives 240 experience points and 38 gold, and can cast Kassap. Also has a 100, or 1 in 256 chance of dropping a Seed of Strength. As for the Man of War, they have, or they are level 18, give 48, or have 40 HP, 0 MP, 55 attack, 50 defense, 35 agility, give 240 experience, 46 gold, they can paralyze you and have a 1 in 64 percent chance of draw or 1 in 64 chance of dropping a cypress stick. So actually since you guys can paralyze us, we'll open the mana wars first. Welcome to Edina, where lineage is law and manners maketh man. Bumpkins, boars, and yokels, turn ye and be gone from this place. That means you. Shoot. Alright, cool. I forgot we have to do special conditions to get into here. But yes, we have a boat. There's a lot of places we can go, a lot of things we can do. I'm actually going to have to take some time to think about what it is we're going to be doing. But given that it's been about 40 minutes here, uh... No, that's probably closer to 30 minutes for you guys. Yeah, whatever. It's been long enough that we've probably got a good uh, amount of material in the can to use for an episode. So I think we shall, for the moment, go back home. Call it a day. Tune in next time uh, where well, I'm actually not sure what we're going to be doing. As I said, there's a couple of different things that we can do, different places we can go and all that. So, well, until whatever happens next time, as always... Later, folks.